Well, an issue with respect to both rulings is the timing and the legality of the recount. After failing to stop the recount in federal court, lawyers for President-elect Donald Trump pled their case to a state appeals court. They successfully argued the recount violates state law because Jill Stein, the Green Party candidate who petitioned for it, stands no chance of winning. We've never had a situation where a fourth place finisher with 1% of the vote has claimed they're aggrieved. But as Mr. Trump's lawyers successfully argued against the legality of the recount before a state panel, a federal appeals court upheld it. I think the essence really of the decision by both the lower court, the district court, and the court of appeals had to do with timing. And that means the recount of 4.8 million ballots will continue, at least for now. But Mr. Trump's lawyers can go back before a federal judge to stop it if they can prove it violates the state constitution. Stein's lawyers believe the recount will continue. The law is very clear uh, that a standing federal court order cannot be interfered with by a state court or anybody else. Now the recount has been underway since Monday. While Stein's lawyers do want it to continue, they are not challenging the results of the election. They simply want to restore some confidence in the process. Live in Detroit tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Curtis.